Finish homework. Fix mistakes in sentences. Oh no. This sounds... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. No more, it's Joinan, and welcome to the homework stream, where I am about to attempt to do Twitch chat's homework. I set up a form for people to submit their homework. I have 171 responses, so I'm gonna try blast through as much homework as I can possibly get through, all for you guys, so that you guys don't have to do your homework. I don't care what it is, whether it's Korean, whether it's maths, or whether it's English, or whether it's maths, or US history, or maths, we're going to do it today right now and i don't have much time because i don't want this video to go forever so every piece of homework i'm gonna have to get done in a very short time span and if things start taking a little bit too long i'm either gonna move on or try finish up very quickly that is the premise of today's video let's get into it first one is spanish basically it's a video you have to watch and it's a spanish song second one is a wait i have to watch a song that sounds easy this isn't a song nuggets i see nuggets in the title that seems suspicious. Sorry, unable to open the file at that time. An essay about Elizabethan theater and Shakespeare you can do in English? Finally, here we go. What, this is in English? What am I reading? Okay, I need an introduction. I need Shakespeare and Elizabethan theater. I think then this is the, the something interesting, then the conclusion and then your references. Okay, uh, let's see here. Introduction. Oh, I'm writing in bold, that's embarrassing. All right, we've skipped forward a little bit. I've written my essay about Elizabethan theater and Shakespeare and I'm ready to to present to you my essay. Now, I, because of the time constraints, I didn't have time to fix up any of the spelling mistakes and to really refine the essay too much. So you're gonna have to bear with me. It's in its bare bones, but I'm sure I can send this back on to the person who uh, sent it in and uh, they would appreciate at least the starting block, the building blocks that they can build off. Here we go. Uh, introduction. Today, I'm going to be discussing Elizabethan theatre and Shakespeare and all they had to offer to the world and still do today. Elizabethan theatre is awesome because Elizabeth was pretty nice to everyone around her and she really had a passion for theatre. Uh, Shaken a spear had wicked insults. Let's begin. Elizabeth had a grand life of theatre stuff because she was a quirky theatre kid. She really revolutionised theatre because she was the one who came up with theatre blacks. You know, the clothes that you have to wear in acting, like all black clothes. Shaking a spear was wicked at epic burns and came up with a lot of the rad insults that we all know and love today. That makes him a mad dog in my book. To conclude, these people had a great impact on theater life and insult life as we know it. And I'm glad to be a part of the same world that they lived in. References. The top of my head, and the only fun fact I can really remember about Shakespeare from high school. There you go. I hope you appreciate the work that I put into that essay. I, I know it, maybe it's a little bit short. I'm sure you could add a little bit. I'm sure you could expand, expand on some of the concepts that I touched on there. Next piece of homework. Find info to create an infographic about the sexual education system in America. Grand. Looking forward to it. As long as it lets me in, not all of them do. What? Just post the URLs here. I need three to five sources about sex education. Oh, okay. All I need to do is find like three or five links. Easy. Here we go. Here we go. Link one. Done. Wikipedia. No, can't use Wikipedia. Link two. Done. Link three. Done. No Wikipedia. I didn't use Wikipedia. <laughs> Link four. Done. A on Netflix. Yeah, whatever. Link five. Done. Easy. Moving along. It doesn't have a link, it's coursework. Uh, basically, I'm supposed to have made a podcast. Can you record a podcast, but like leave gaps for me to speak back so it looks like I helped? All right, here's what we're gonna do. Cut the music. I'm not gonna leave gaps. You can do that yourself. We're, I'm gonna have no gaps. Editor, cut out the gaps. It's just gonna be me having a conversation and then you can insert your responses in between those, all right? Podcast topics, 50 podcast ideas. I gotta have something to work with here. Target specific people. Yeah, no, but give me something to work with here. Find a film or book. No, 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 interview another podcaster. Well, I guess that's what I'm doing, but interview them about their podcast. Ooh, that's getting meta. Yeah, let's go with that. Hey, how's it going, everyone? I'm glad you guys decided to pick up your earphones and listen to it this week's podcast. I'm joining and here we have my good friend. So first of all, why don't you expand on uh, why we decided to start this podcast and what it, what it really means to us? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, th that's 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 pretty. That's very true, actually. Very true. I don't, this is really hard. This is actually really hard. How do you come up with like rant about saunas? You've told me this week's topic was going to be about saunas. Um, I'm happy to I'm happy to roll with that. You, have you ever had a sauna? Oh. Wow, that sounds like a, that a crazy story. Do you want to tell us about the crazy story? Yeah? All right, yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, no way. What? Oh, I've done the same thing before. Whoa! <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. I love that story. I'm going to tell my children that story. Yeah, no, no, no. I've had plenty of saunas, you know. My parents are Finnish, obviously. I've had plenty of saunas in my time. No, so, yeah, uh, actually, the, the hottest was uh, me and my brother once got the thermometer at the very least to 100 degrees. Who knows whether it was actually 100 degrees? We're talking Celsius here. Who knows whether it was actually 100 degrees in there or whether that was just a thermometer. But, you know, I, I got to see the 100 degrees before I ran outside and got in the lake. No, I know. I know. I don't understand either. But I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. How is that even possible? Hmm. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad too. I think this has been fun. I understand it's a short one, but how long was it? How long are we going for? Oh, yeah. So, it should, I mean, longer than I thought it would be, but yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm happy to wrap up. Are you happy to wrap up or is there... Oh, no, no. Yeah, you still had that one thing you wanted to say. What? Are you joking? I can't do it. I can't do this again. I'm sorry. I thought this was going to be all right. But now that you've said that, I don't think I can go through with another podcast. This is my last time I'm going to be on this podcast. I, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Yeah, no, I know. I know. But I just, I didn't know that about you. So I just, I'm not okay with that. Okay. Anyway. Um, well, bye. There we go. Okay. Uh, so you need a podcast. You're gonna you're gonna insert your uh, spots to speak speak back. You might, you're gonna have to add some silence in between. You have to stretch out my gaps a little bit more, is what I'm saying. But uh, there you go. There's there's your uh, there's your podcast homework. At least half of it done. Next homework: a French essay and what I learned during the course. Easy. I learned so much during the course. Oh, great. Okay, that, this is fine. I can uh, I can I can work with this. Uh, what does it say? French is worth it. Uh, prepare it. Hold on. I'll copy and paste this. All right. French is worth it. Prepare a short opinion piece in which you explain the importance of learning French, what you learned this year in 10th grade, and tips for being successful in future French lessons. Uh, in English, add your comments about this course, the benefits, and I can change things if you will take French 11th year at school. Oh, okay. Half a page? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to be back to read you what I've written. All right, so we've written out what we need to. Uh, it said it needs to be half a page, so let's make this half a page. And this is, let's just say, look, I've already gone to the effort for you. I've written this out in French, and then I've translated it into English for you so that I can read it to you now in English. But I'll make sure to uh, swap it back into French um, before I send it back to the uh, homework E. So here we go. Frenchland is the country of not only food, but also romance. So when I next go to France, I'm looking forward to using my whiz bang French skills to pick up some French ladies. And maybe they can show me around to the cool French fooderies. I'm very happy to have learnt what I know about France so that I can, for example, order a baguette or a croissant. I want to fall in love under the Eiffel Tower, lol. To a sweet little French lady. And then uh, I had to put in, uh, in English, my comments about the course and whether I'll take it next year. Uh, nah. I don't want to take it next year. Now I'll just put this back into French, um, the language that I originally typed it in. English, French. And uh, and that's that's what it originally looks like. I just had to press Control Z to undo the translation. And this is what I originally typed. Now I'm just going to post this back in the original person's uh, document if they let me. I can't, I don't have access. But there we go. You can see, at least on the video, you can just type it out based on what you see in that video. Another piece of homework. Done. Don't have a link. Essay on why men should be feminist. Oh, dang. You haven't given me anything to go with. Why men should be fem femin uh, feminist. Okay, I'm going to type out my essay and then uh, I'm going to come back and show you what I've written. All right, here's my little essay. Granted, it's a little bit short, but like what I keep saying, uh, it's more of the ideas. They can kind of take those ideas and expand upon them. I'm just kind of giving you the framework to roll with. So uh, here we go. Feminism is a funny thing. 
different people will have differing opinions on what it even means. So to go any further, I think it's vital that we establish a little glossary. Some people would say that feminism is when women should be all powerful and burn all the men. Men aren't too hot on that one. Some people though would say that feminism is about women's rights and just like women being just like men in lots of ways and everything being V equal. I think if you're a man and you don't want women to be equal, that's cringe, bro. And men, you don't want to be cringe. Thanks for reading my essay. There you go. Next piece of homework. Help me fix the admin PHP script. It needs to create and update users still. Easy. Dang it. I need access. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, you know, I would have liked to help you with that one, but you didn't give me access, so I, I simply can't. It's just eighth grade math homework. All right, here we go. All right, what we got? Weekly math uh, name. I'll leave that blank so that you can put your name in. Calculator inactive. <laughs> As if I'm going to need a calculator. You must show work in order to receive credit. Wait, but I have to type it? That's pretty lame. Compare the two linear functions shown below. All right, we've got fx uh, equals 2x uh, plus 7. What is the difference when y in in intercept of fx is subtracted from the y intercept of gx? What's the difference? Okay, so uh, I'm going to tackle this math homework and then we'll come back uh, in a second and I'll show you what I've done with it. All right, a little while later and a little bit of Twitch chat frustration, we have our answers. Question one, uh, compare the two linear functions. Uh, by the way, the, the formatting of this is, t is shocking. So you're going to have to bear with me. I'll guide you through. What is the difference when the y-intercept of fx is subtracted from the y-intercept of gx? What is the difference? I think the more important question is, why are we typing in comic sense? Well, pretty cringe. All right, question two. Three organisms are present in a sample. Now, if these organisms triple every 30 minutes, how many will be present after 90 minutes? Assuming none of them die. So I showed my working out and I got to 81 at 90 minutes. Question four is here. Question three is underneath for some reason. Three less than a number is 14 more than two times that number. What is the difference? I wrote this thing out and then I wrote, don't know if that's right, but Twitch chat told me it's negative 17 and they don't like how slow I am to figure it out for myself. Okay, question four, simplify this. I don't know, these all seem pretty complicated. So I just wrote five, it's pretty simple. Question five, what's the average rate of change of fx equals five x negative seven from x equals negative three to x equals seven? I wrote, uh, if you have five x's, the rate of change is fairly high, though it depends on your age, I suppose. <laughs> Question six, where is question six? It's underneath question seven, of course. A chorus teacher is arranging students on the bleachers for performance, blah, 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 blah. Uh, assuming the trend continues, how many students will be on the sixth row of the bleachers? Pretty sure that's 30, boss. All right, question seven. Consider the set of points. How many of the points are solutions on... Wait, this is really confusing. Uh, the formatting is all gone. Oh, the graph. Oh, here we go. Wait, is that it? How many of the point solutions on the graph of the linear function y equals no does that make any sense negative i don't know i'm lost who cares question nine uh what is the value of f12 i don't find myself using f12 or any of the function buttons too often to be honest but i know they can be kind of useful in the right circumstances so like maybe slightly valuable not enough for me to have the dedicated row on my keyboard though and see it's a it's a little keyboard considering the linear function shown below what is the rate of change in the linear function uh negative eight identify the y intercept Negative eight. Here was the answer to seven. How many of the points are solutions on that thing or whatever? The real solution is to not care so much, I think. All right, homework done. That was easy homework. We didn't spend ages on that homework. <laughs> Let's move on. It's all right, I promise no more math homework. Twitch chat does not like the math homework. Let's tackle something uh, I'm a little bit better at. Korean homework. Okay, we, we have a photo. Life in Korea, on the way to school. Do I have to translate that? Uh will do. I just had to write it down here. I know it looks like this is Google Translate, but I just didn't have a Word document open and there's nowhere to write it on the photo. So I just had to write it in there. But you know, say in Korean, you're driving uh, that one easy. It's already written for you. See here, I am driving translated already. Uh, describe how your earlier actions have changed. Oh my goodness. Look, I'm going to have to be real with you. I don't know any Korean, so I'm just going to have to move on. Download this page to Notability to compete this activity. Let's be honest, our phones are a part of us. Design your ultimate phone case and app display to reflect your personality. If you don't have a phone, no problem. In fact, good for you. <laughs> Just design what you think would be your dream phone. Well, it wouldn't be this. This is quite an old phone. What is this? Oh, this is the case. App display. Afterwards, write a small paragraph about how your design reflects your personality and interests. Okay, uh, sure. Now, I did actually go to university. I have a degree in design, so 
trust me, I know what I'm doing. I want uh, an outline, but I don't want any fill. And you got to draw your little apps, right? I believe in only having three apps on your phone. Those apps are Facebook. You have to have Facebook. You're a loser if you don't have Facebook. Snapchat, got to have Snapchat. How else do you keep in touch with your friends? So you download Facebook because you need to be able to talk with your friends. Snapchat, how else do you keep in touch with your friends? And then finally, we need, I kind of forget what the app icon looks like, but I think it's something like this. I don't really know. MSN Messenger, because how else would you keep in contact with your friends. Now, we want to design the phone case. And I think it's something like this. I'm um, just writing sideways. Writing sideways is one of the many things that you would learn to do if you also had a degree in design. Writing sideways with a mouse, no less. And if you have studied design like I have, then you would uh, know that there is no better designer on this planet Earth than David Gucci. People think that his designs are overrated, but it's simply not true. To come up with the stuff that David Gucci comes up with, pure genius. I think this fits me perfectly. And I think to be honest, I've just spoken out my uh, my paragraph. So you can write that down. I just realized I was supposed to be doing this homework for you, but that's fine. You can assume the role of me and pretend that you also have a degree in design. You can take that one. You know, people always ask me about uh, software. You know, should I learn Photoshop or should I learn Illustrator or should maybe I should step away from the Adobe nightmare? Sure, the best tool is the one that you have installed on your computer and you have MS Paint. Maybe you don't because you have a Mac, but throw it out and get a Windows PC because MS Paint, it brings it back to its basics brings design to its core. MS Paint is gonna highlight whether you're a good designer or a bad designer. And you know, when you're designing stuff like this, it really speaks for itself. The design really speaks for itself. You can't hide behind MS Paint when you're designing perfect designs. Next homework. You have to describe the purpose or benefit of a cat cafe. It's for a project proposal. Good luck. Okay. Feline good cat cafe project proposal description. I suppose this is like a, someone wants to build a cat cafe called Feline Good Cat Cafe, and they're trying to describe like the, the purpose of uh, or benefit of it. All right, I'm gonna write out my essay and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna share with you what I've written. All right, it's a little short, but here we go. Here's here's my uh, here's my project proposal. Let's be honest, it's kind of just more outlaying a cat cafe experience, but that's, that's good enough, right? Put yourself in the shoes of someone actually visiting a cat cafe. Cat cafes are like regular cafes but they're for the salt. What would be better than sipping on a hot cup of joe while being silently judged by like 15 cats? The best thing isn't even that. It's that you want to pat them, but they're cats. They really only like so much patting. And so like, there's so many people around all patting the cats that they're kind of just done with it and don't really want you to pat them. So all that's left for you to do is just sit back and attempt to lock eyes with the one weird cat in the hopes that out of all the hundreds of people this cat sees a week, for some reason, the two of you have some magical bond. Maybe that'll happen. Or maybe someone would just pay the extra seven bucks to get some cat treat and steal all the attention away. That's the beauty of a cat cafe. You just never know. There's the project proposal. I hope it goes forward. I, you know, you can run with that. You can expand on it a little bit. I hope you get your project approved. Finish homework. Fix mistakes in sentences. Oh no. This sounds... Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Like, look at this. This is an actual language. I can't fix these sentences. I don't know if I can even read these sentences. Okay, all right, look, I'll start with this shorter one, all right? Lukijalle tulee tunne, että miksi päähenkilö ei koskaan kerro. Mitä hänen päässään liikkuu ja sano vastaan vanhemmilleen? Okay, the error here is trying to get me to fix it. I, I can't do anything. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry. Call mum. I could call mum. I don't know. I just, maybe she's busy. I don't know. Oh, the word's so dang long. Welcome to Finnish. Look at this. I don't even know. I don't know how to say this word. All right. How about, how about this one? Baksu turkki ei estä koiraa palelluttamasta tassujaan kovassa pakkesa. Oh my gosh. Pakkasessa. Eikä varsinkaan, jos tassut ovat saaneet ensin kastua. Kast, kastua. The, the hard thing about Finnish is that you can't be slow about it. You can't think about it while you're pronouncing it because then you're pronouncing it wrong. Because like double letters together or single letters, you pronounce them differently. So when you're like, uh, like saying a word slowly, you're pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> It makes it impossible. So what do you think it means? I wasn't even concentrating on what. Why is his Finnish accent Italian? Oh no. 
Look at this word. Kulttuuriperimän vaikutus kielen käyttäjän identiteetin rakentumis... Rak... Ah. <tuh> Joka päivin... päiväinen tekijä kuin nimi. Name! <laughs> that word ni means name! <laughs> Google Translate. Well, the issue is that, like, it's a photo, so I can't even copy and paste it. Look, before everyone in the YouTube comments starts going on about my Finnish pronunciation, my Finnish pronunciation, my, blah, blah, my English pronunciation isn't very good, but my Finnish pronunciation is shocking, you know, while I'm reading, I, <laughs> you know, I didn't even know the words I'm reading. So I'm going to be slow with it. I'm going to get it wrong. You can use the Google Translator. Will it pronounce it for me? I feel like that'd be cool, right? Man vaikutus kielenkäyttäjän identiteetin rakentumiseen voi suurimmillaan olla niinkin olennainen jokapäiväinen tekijä kuin nimi. My goodness. No, shh, shh. Translate. All right. What do we got? What do we got? The influence of cultural heritage on the construction of a language user's identity can, at most, be as relevant a daily factor as a name. <laughs> what? No wonder I had no clue what they were talking about. I don't even know what that means in English. Obviously, how didn't you get that? <laughs> My goodness. I'm going to feel self-conscious around all the Finnish people in the comments. Think I'm going to Finnish pleb? I suppose I am. I suppose my Finnish language is very plebeian level. Anyway. There's still so much more homework, but I feel like I get in the vibe. This is already a long video. I don't, I can't tell because I've been starting and stopping the recording the whole time. Uh, but anyway, if you want to see this again, give the video a like, but also tell one of your friends to watch it because it's the views. <laughs> it's the views that will make me do this again. <laughs> get some of the sweet lemon carton merch in the description below. It's got a cute little lemon carton on it and come and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash join and butt on Twitch where we film these live, where you can kind of see me working through all of this kind of stuff. You know, it's where you get the full experience, not the polished experience. They're different. They're both good, but they're different experiences. That's for sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video, but now that it's done, please watch another one.